WFSB. This is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, April 4th. I'm Nicole Nalepa. Thanks for joining us. Here are your top stories. The UConn men's basketball team is victorious after defeating San Diego State last night for the NCAA championship. Now the Huskies are five-time champions. Last night, they earned that title with the 76-59 win. UConn started off a little slow, but the offense turned up the heat, led by 12 in the half. And in the second half, San Diego closed the gap to six with just over seven minutes to go. But the Huskies went on a run and shut the door on the Aztecs and kept the lead to the very end. Later today on campus, UConn is preparing for an epic pep rally. The university announced the celebration will go down at Gamble Pavilion. Doors open at four o'clock this afternoon, and the team is expected to arrive about an hour later. Fans and students can attend, but you need to claim a free ticket before the rally. And you can find them on UConnHuskies.com. Moving you on to hockey now, where the sports world will be focusing now on the Final Four, from the Final Four, I should say, to the Frozen Four. Fans wish the Quinnipiac hockey team well during a big send-off yesterday on the campus in Hamden. It's Coach Rand Pecknold's third Frozen Four in 11 years, and the team says that it is ready to win on the ice. We, of course, will be bringing you all of the Frozen Four coverage later this week. We have Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Dylan Fearon heading down for all the action. And happening today, police in New York are taking extra safety precautions as former President Donald Trump is expected to face a judge during his historic arraignment. And this is all, of course, because his role in an alleged hush money payment to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. Now, in response to possible riots, New York's Mayor Eric Adams addressed the public, urging people to remain civil. There may be some rabble rousers thinking about coming to our city tomorrow, a message is clear and simple. Control yourselves. People say they have 35,000 uniformed officers on standby and have even installed new barriers right outside the Manhattan Criminal Court to prepare for any chaos. And taking you through the rest of today's headlines now, the new education budget in Milford is on its way to a vote despite some outrage from students and parents. The city is planning to cut $1.8 million from the budget, and that could mean closing a school or even teacher layoffs. Protesters made their voices loud and clear at a meeting last night. A full vote on the budget is expected in the coming weeks. And moving you on to Vernon now, where we now know the identity of the woman who was killed in a crash involving a police cruiser. She has been identified as Bianca Colon, a teacher in Springfield, Massachusetts. That crash happened right on the Hartford Turnpike Sunday night. Two other people in the car with Colon suffered minor injuries, including a one-year-old child. Manchester Police and the State Attorney's Office are now leading the investigation. Scott? All right, thanks, Nicole. Let's take a look at the uh, forecast. We're just going to give you the seven-day right off the bat because uh, there's some big temperature changes. 68 today, 52 tomorrow, 70 degrees on Thursday. That's pretty remarkable. And then a cool down for Friday, Saturday. So, again, big temperature fluctuations. Hello. Uh, we are taking a look at our Channel 3 early warning dual pole radar. That is scanning the state dry. Good morning, everybody. It's time to rise and shine. And we are looking at a pretty good amount of shine out there. A little bit of cloud coverage up in northern Connecticut, making for an absolutely gorgeous start. You guys are closest to a stalled frontal boundary that will eventually dive to our south and allow some cooler, cloudier, drizzly air into the state during the day tomorrow. So tomorrow's not looking like the best day, but today certainly is, as the numbers are going to be climbing into the mid to upper 60s. Dry roads, you are good to go. Visibility is good, although it has come down at Oxford Airport, five miles there, and Chester, five miles there, six miles in New Haven. So just a little bit of fog forming and a little cluster down there. Be careful. All right, our temperatures, not bad. Not bad at all. 34, typical overnight low. Look at this, 37 in Willimantic. That's a little bit close. 38 in Waterbury, 39 in Meriden and in Putnam. Everybody else is in the low 40s, which is pretty remarkable. I mean, a 44 degree reading at Brainerd, New Haven and Groton, 45 in Bridgeport. That's 10 to 11 degrees above the average. And we are up from where we were yesterday, anywhere from 11 to 17 degrees warmer. Nice. All right, the winds are basically calm, no wind chill. And there is that little bit of cloud coverage up in northern Connecticut this morning. But uh, we are expecting a mixture of sun and clouds through the day today. No precipitation expected. That's the good news. Tonight will be cloudy with maybe a chance for a passing shower. 
And then tomorrow, unsettled with mostly cloudy skies, cooler temperatures, drizzle, and a couple of passing showers. So it's not going to be the best day. You'll notice right around 5 p.m. some scattered showers in northern Connecticut. And just unsettled and cool and kind of raw during the day tomorrow. In the meantime, enjoy 41 right now in Kent and a three-way tie going on at stores. Congratulations, Yukon. 44. East Hartford, 44. West Haven, 44. So some pretty good looking numbers. Here are your headlines. Mostly clear and mild to start. A nice day ahead. Cooler tomorrow with showers. Here's the breakdown. 64 to 68 degrees today. Great start. Partly to mostly sunny skies during the day today. It'll be milder. The sun was up at 629, sets at 719. Your seven-day forecast once again includes a cooler kind of a cloudy day tomorrow with some drizzle and some scattered showers. Thursday afternoon and early evening, a cold front moves in with some scattered showers and some thunderstorms. And then things cool down behind the cold front Friday, Saturday. Look good, but the temperatures will be only in the mid to upper 50s, which is close to normal for this time of year. And then a nice rebound for Easter Sunday, 62 degrees, 63 degrees by Monday. All right, that's a check of your early morning forecast. Nicole, we'll send it back to you. It is now 706. Stanford based WWE is merging with the parent company of its competitor, Ultimate Fighting Championship. Now, this will form a new publicly traded company worth more than $21 billion. That's a lot of money. The merger marks a new era for WWE, which functioned as a family business for decades. Vince McMahon will now hold on to his current title of executive chairman. And the Harford Yard Goats are getting ready for their home opener at Duncan Park this Thursday. Yesterday, they they debuted their food lineup. They're spicing things up with chicken honey sriracha and glazed donut sandwich. They're also uncrustable PB and J made with sun butter, along with more traditional ballpark fares. Yum. And we're bringing back a corn dog. Uh, we're going to an individual pizza instead of sliced pizza. Uh, the fried doughs are back. Other notable mentions, the onion ring tower, chicken fries, Spicy pickle fries and egg rolls with cheddar cheese. <laughs> that sounds so good. Attorney General William Tong is calling now for an end to blood donating policy that he says currently stigmatizes LGBTQ plus individuals. Tong joined a 22 state coalition in support of the Biden administration's new proposed policy to make it easier for more people to donate blood and plasma. The current policy recommends stopping gay and bisexual men from donating blood within three months of their most recent sexual contact. New guidance could abandon that approach. Thank you so much for tuning in to Eyewitness News. Remember, you can get news, weather updates anytime on the Channel 3 app, as well as we are your home for the Huskies. So everything that you need to know about the celebrations, which will continue, well, you can find that all on the Channel 3 app. Be healthy, stay positive. Have a great day, everyone.